Hey guys, it's Beano. In the last part, we cleared the first world, and now I'm just gonna go in here because I need to restock on stuff. See, so yeah, I believe you can get another one of those potted hearts in one of the stages in this world. I cannot remember the bosses, the bosses of this world. I can remember the room it was in. Draw me, Pierre, an odd guy. Oh, I love this guy right here. Grabber can't finish. Snowman, then he needs hit the pieces around here somewhere. They're so naughty. Snowman needs a nose, hat, and arms. It would look so lovely with those. So anyway, I guess there's a guy in each world that will give you free crystals. But anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta go around, pick up the, pick up the for some odd reason, hitbox items. Um, so anyway, there's the golden gobbo room. Anyway, the king has no animation, he just blinks. Gobbo loves jingles or soda, it tastes best when homemade. You make it like this, take one bucket, a nice fa fancy one, a big box of fizz, pop pop a ginger root for tanginess, and a box of sugary goodness, mix it all up and you get ginger soda. Yeah, all the kids are kind of confused. There's a train station here. This is a carrot for a nose. That stage there. We're doing that one last. Why did I just point at the screen like I expected you to see that? Anyway, I, I do like this world. This world is very cool. Ice. It's not a nice world without ice. Look, that guy is right in front of the boss. And <laughs> I like this bit right here. <laughs> Some guys are start chucking snowballs at you. Like seriously, what kind of game does that? Well, I think that guy, this guy actually says why and the, the other arm is here. There's only four pieces. Or maybe that's five. This one. No. To the snowman. What is he gonna say? This lava lamp Larry's shop he's close to redecorate here and gets soon. Can't wait, okay. Oh my gosh. So fun. But anyway, yeah. So I'll, I'll be tackling on the stages from the furthest away. Yeah, he's good. Hooray, Croc found the double can finish the snowman now. I'm gonna take these. And it gives you 50 crystals, okay, so it's not worth it. So anyway, I'll be signing the stages on the reverse side of this now. Unfortunately, I think these two stages are the, are the only one are ones that don't actually these aren't controlled by Croc. So Croc having snowman concerts with Dan but snowman's head not ready. Croc take the head to the snowman body. Don't know how Croc do it in time. Croc will ride it there. So maybe we're going, what the heck? And this is why this is probably the most annoying stage. First of all, tank controls still. Which, tank controls is okay, but I don't know. It kind of doesn't work for a snowman. And that kind of the other thing is also, it rolls down hills. That was just me holding down up. Now, I had so much trouble as a kid, but the music is awesome. Whoa! Goodness sake. <laughs> I know, right? This stage is just nerve-wracking. Good thing is that crates just smash open with these. The back button doesn't help. Oh, one thing I do like is that if you that worked. One thing I do like is that if you do fall off or if you if you die, you keep all your crystals. So that's nice. I guess it's like the first game where you keep your gobos if you die. The other thing I like is that also how do you take out enemies? <laughs> you just smush them. Yeah. So don't expect to jump by the way, so everything everything you got collected will be on the screen, so. Yeah, I know, right? Jeez. Well, can you get that? Oh you can jump. Oh gosh. I 
then pause. I mean, seriously. I'm still going. I can't. St I don't want to stop it. All right, I'm gonna head back. Is that like an earthquake or something? Not in real life. In the game. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they know exactly what they're doing there. One thing I did as a kid was that uh, I just did this so slowly. Because on a flat ground, it does have quite a bit of traction if you kind of slow. I bet you there's a, there's a crane on the other side. I don't know, there is a... Oh, I died. Dang it. <laughs> Note how I've lost more lives here than I've probably lost. The other thing is it also doesn't want to go up the hill, so to speak. It will try and turn away from the hill. If you're going uphill, which makes it rather predictable. Okay, so I got a heart. There's another heart there. Thank you, turn around. Okay, let's go back. But seriously, why would you go out of your way to pick these up? Oh, and by the way, have fun trying to stop here! So yeah, the down, the down button would actually break, but it would actually start turning you in the other direction, more so, and that doesn't entirely work out when you're, um, when you're stopping and it's constantly trying to turn you around. Alright, so I just go straight ahead. Also, that guy always gets me. Oh gosh! Alright, here we go. We did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, the jerks! Seriously! No land would ever be shaped like this, seriously. Also... Oh gosh. I, I can go back though, can't I? Gee, no way. There you go, go back. Considering this is for a Dantini Snowman competition, and there. Ah, oh, dang it, Steve. Crystals would still be there, though, wouldn't they? If they aren't, then I'm gonna be angry. If they're not, I am angry. Okay, minus 95. Oh, sorry, minus 5 on the total counter. I am ashamed. I'm not gonna replay the stage, you know exactly where those crystals are, and I'm gonna get 95 now. <laughs> Suiciders, seriously? I already did this in Spyro the Dragon. And one more, for good sake. There you go. Dolan Gobbo. And there you go. The minus, minus five because of that one that Deke spawned. Yahoo! So yeah. This is actually one of the stages where it actually does commend you for finishing it. Anyway. Gobbo's trapped on high cliffs. Gobbo's not able to get up there. Maybe Croc can get up there. Use Strange Air Glider by Mysterious Gobbo with the big glasses. And this is actually a strange stage as well. It's very calming though. So what your intentions are is that you've got to collect all of these guys. You can press... You can't press down, but you can press up to pitch yourself down, so... 
is so soothing though. Has that late 90s sound. It was you you would have heard it quite a fair bit in Sonic Adventure. The sound. And the music, you know. So yeah, each ring actually has 10 crystals on it, so it's all easy there. Another big thing is as soon as you pick that up, rush to the right. It's actually a rather short stage, to be honest. I'll definitely be able to fit one more stage in. And then there's like a landing strip in the middle of this lava in the middle of an ice world. So you need to land, land good. And then, if you land on target, you get more crystals, so... That was actually one of the easiest stages, to be honest. Anyway, you may be going on, what's what's with that guy over there? Just talking about the, the guy who opens that. There's the boss stage. Which means we get to tackle on just the regular stage over back here. Yeah, so if you want to not do the boat race, that stage is actually probably the faster one. Oh yeah. Trapped in ice caves. Here we go. 